With all the talk of cleaning and disinfecting, here's another way for riders to get ready to go. Push to pump. The messages have been clear. We can all stick six feet apart, right? Hopefully. Do your best to social distance. Masks are required and wash those hands. Here's some sanitizer. At four locations around the system, the MTA is now testing these dispensers. They're operated by foot. Yes, it's easy. We got to do what we got to do. I still got to move on. Trains, buses, and stations are being cleaned and disinfected at least daily. That will continue. The MTA is staying in touch with other transit agencies. The Toronto system has had sanitizer stations since April. It's already popular. We have technicians out here that will be checking it a couple times a day to see how much each train station is using so that it will be available for everybody. Transit officials are still coordinating reopening plans with the city and state asking businesses to stagger work hours. I would like for them to have a better train schedule. We, we definitely need more trains um, and we definitely need some backup. The more of the delay, the more packed it get, the more chaotic it get. And we cannot afford that right now, especially coming out of pandemic. The essential travel plan, that schedule we have become accustomed to with the nighttime shutdowns between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., that stays in effect. The next big change, more people, could be June 8th when New York City is expected to enter phase one of reopening. At Delancey Essex Street, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.